the 2K Sports Network welcomes you to tonight's broadcast from inside the Air Canada Centre in downtown Toronto. Hello everyone and welcome to exciting NHL action on the 2K Sports Network. I'm Bob Cole along with Harry Neal. It's still early on in the season, but these two teams appear to be in mid-season four. One of these years, the Toronto Maple Leafs are due to win the Stanley Cup. The last time they won it was 1967. They've had some competitive teams since then, but the Cup has eluded them. The Maple Leafs are one of the league's best offensive clubs. They've got great speed, stick handling ability, and they've got the snipers to finish it. Coley, it's great to have legs when you're a young team. That is why this team is so good offensively. They simply outskate people. And if you win most of the races for pucks every night, you usually win the game. Well, the two goalies we're going to see here tonight... chance to see some scoring. I know we are going to see some amazing saves. Nolan makes the pass to the defenseman. And they're getting there now, two on two. Under pressure, sends it out of the corner. The puck down low to Sundin. And now Philadelphia in their own zone. And it's controlled, center ice. And it's picked up by Toronto. What a chance to stretch your stuff. 23 gets Ned for slashing, and he'll be heading to the box. Let's look at the replay and check that slashing call out. Oh, yeah, you can see he really got him good with the stick, no doubt about it. And off to the penalty box he goes for two minutes. These guys are great at penalty killing, and they know how to keep from getting too spread out. Let's watch and see how they handle a PK coming up. And we've got the faceoff coming up. Nolan to Sundin. Some rock play. The stick came up on him. And on the power play, the Leafs bring it in. Puck back to the point. Nolan hits it out of the corner. That is some great overall defensive effort. If you don't protect the puck, someone's going to get their stick on it. The officials caught a slash going on, and they're not going to let those squeak by. You can really get cut with a slash. All right, the replay is going to give us a better look at what actually happened. I mean, we're going to slow it down a little bit to show you. Oh, yeah, that's absolutely a slash and a good call by the referee. In recent years, the National Hockey League is trying to cut down on these kind of things, these penalties. So if you got that stick moving in towards the player and you're touching him, you're going to go. Well, there's no question about the fact that more slashing penalties are being called now than ever before in this league. And Philadelphia gets to it and clears it out of the zone. Time of the penalty, 2.37 of the first period. And he's skating with the puck in the neutral zone. Here come the Maple Leafs with a chance. Number one makes a huge save with this two-man disadvantage. Toronto regains possession. Number one with a terrific save, keeping his team's defense alive, trying to get through this two-man disadvantage. And Philadelphia has the puck, defensive zone. The defense doing its job on that last shift, keeping out those two shots on goal. The penalty is over, and now it's five on three. The Flyers clear the puck on the penalty. It goes to the defenseman. Clee with it at center. Oh, and there they go, the Leafs on the attack. Number one makes a huge penalty killing save. He brings the puck past the blue line. The shot, Melfour keeping his team from giving up a sure-handed goal. Ronick roughing it up at center ice. He shoots. Number one stops the shot, and the power play is still on. This NHL game is being brought to you in 2K Sports Game Sound, designed and developed in collaboration with Dolby, the leader in surround sound technology. Bob, I'll tell you this from experience. If your butt is dragging on the bench, this is music to your ears. Listen to that chant from the home team in a game that's tied up. And a lot of times, fans are just tentative at this point but not tonight. 23 gets the ref's attention. Hooking is the call. Number one, protecting the left side of the net. Harry, these fans know how to get into it. Scores! He gets the first goal of the game in front of the home crowd. My goodness, what a 
a shot off the faceoff. I think it took the goalie by surprise. And that's why it pays off to try those shots. You never know when you'll catch the goalie sleeping, Harry. They could hear him snoring, Bob. They caught him napping, and the goaltender didn't wake up till the referee said it was in. And the puck is just about to drop. The Maple Leafs are happy about the go-ahead goal here in the first period. They'd like to keep that lead and expand on it if they can. Newendike getting some light abuse close to a slash. Taken into the zone by Philadelphia. And Balfour makes the pass to the defenseman. Passes it to the right wing. Power play for Toronto. He stopped him. He just stole him on the breakaway. Ragnarsson from number one. The Maple Leafs here in the first period with a one-goal lead. Harry, what's giving this team the success they're having right now? Bob, looking at the numbers, you say this goalie has to improve a little bit, and I'll tell you why. If you look at the scoreboard, that even adds pressure. Very fine line here between winning and losing, and he can't afford to make any mistake. And it's cleared out by Philadelphia trying to kill this off. Sid to the left wing, deflected off the defense. Markov clears the puck for his penalty killing unit. And one penalty is over. It's four on five skating. Ragnarsson with a nice poke check there. Over the blue line. And here's a chance for the Flyers. You just hope you're not out of position when that point blank shot gets launched. He had the body where it had to be to make the save. You talk about having to get your focus together in a hurry. Check this replay out. In a split second, the shooter's on you with a breakaway scoring chance. You're the goaltender, and you're just going to say, hey, that's just what I did in practice. And this face-off will be to the goalie's left. And Toronto wins the draw in their own zone. He feeds the puck to the left wing. In the neutral zone, the Flyers with it. 98 gets contact in the neutral zone. To the point. That's going to get him a penalty for roughing. Another draw down there on the ice. And here's Philadelphia off the draw. And the Leafs get it out of their zone on the PK. The puck sent to the defenseman. He brings the puck through the zone. From 23. He makes a beautiful save in the shorthanded situation to keep that one goal lead. And Philadelphia is able to get it back. 98 puts the puck out center. 23 gets that puck out, but not a good pass. Back to the point. Desjardins shoots wide on that one. Off the player and up off the glass. Now Philadelphia into the zone. He makes a centering pass. The puck off that post. You have to love some help from the post. Up by one, you'll take it. They clear the puck, killing this penalty. Number seven has the puck at center ice. Over to the right wing. Oh, and Balfour holds on for the save and keeps the one-goal lead. He decides to hold on to the puck. 
The Flyers have only been able to kill 20% of their penalties. That's just horrible. They are one for five tonight on the penalty kill. Belfour in net, ready for the faceoff to his left. A minute 45 on the game clock. This is a stick save, and a pretty good one off that wrist shot, Bob. We know it's tough to pick it up when it comes off the stick. You don't telegraph it at all on most wrist shots. Here we go, Bob, with the replay. It's the first period. They're down by one, and they roared one off the post. And not a bad chance for the tying goal here. As you can see, it pegs the right post. A goal right here would even this game up. He hit him so hard, I'm not sure he knows where he is. He's down for the count, that's for sure. It goes to the point. The clock shows 41. Holy, I'm not so sure you can hit a guy any harder than that. He just got nailed. Now Toronto's got it. And the buzzer sounds, and the score at the end of the first period is 1 to nothing. And the 2K Sports Network presenting some of the finer points from that first period. The Flyers continue to trail in this game here, Harry, and they're behind a goal to start the second period. What's been the difference tonight, do you think? Down by a goal, I'd point the faceoffs as a good indication of why. They are just not winning the draws to this point, and it shows up on the scoreboard. He shoots. Belfour gets this one with the blocker and made it look easy. A lot of it was positioning. He was in the stand-up position with a little bit of a crouch. The blocker was right there at the right time. It's shot. Number one with a gorgeous stick save. He was crouching down and got the wood right on the puck. And it's shot. Oh, and Belfour stops the play. But a poke check in that. Taken into the zone by Toronto. Number one with a terrific save. His team looking to get this one tied. Back to the point. Great save on the shot going low. Over to the left wing. There it is. Toronto on the rush. Number one with a blocker. He made that save. Number 23 brings the puck up. And the defense has to get back there. Roberts in the neutral zone. He's in the corner. Neuendijk receives the hit in the corner by Desjardins. He's got it over the blue line. Number seven has it along the boards. From number seven, Belfour relays the puck back to the defenseman. Here's the rush. Two on two. And he shoots. Great speed and use of the stick. They thought they had a goal on that play. In now, his team changing shifts for their forwards. Over to the right wing. Holds the puck at center. Oh, and the puck deflects right off the post. Klee with the pass up the center. Here come the Maple Leafs with a chance. Over to the point. What a pat save. It was one-on-one. -on -one. The guy was coming right down on him. He waited and waited and finally got it with his right pad. It set up the left side. Belfour hope checks the puck away to Sundin. There it is, Toronto on the rush. Gets it over to the left wing. Some play, Bob. A slick move on defense with that stick. From McGilney over to Sandine. With the puck at the point by Leach. Over to Nolan. Shooting again. In the neutral zone. He centers the puck. Behind the goalkeeper now. The Flyers are back. A goal now still trailing after going into the break and coming back for the second period. Half the game is over. Harry, what do you see going on? Down one, I'd say one of the main reasons for that is their lack of discipline. They're not playing smart hockey out there. They spent too much time in the penalty box and need to be more careful if they even want to entertain thoughts of a comeback. Coley, did this guy have a bullseye on his shirt? It looks like it. He was crushed. Nolan over to Sandin. The puck off the post. The puck to the left wing. Taken into the zone by Philadelphia. Belfour stops that one. It was going low right. Sandin from Nolan. Sandin has a chance here. And he fires it. Puck over to the right wing. Leach with the pass up the center. 
Across the blue line. He shoots. He stopped him. He just got stoned on that breakaway. In the defensive zone, the puck is hit up the right side. It's passed to the point. He shoots it. Number one with a stick save. Over to Roenick from Leclerc. And all the Flyers have a chance here. He passes to the defenseman. Oh, what a hit. And from a guy you wouldn't expect, he crunched him on that play. He passes it to the left wing. McGilney, center ice. Big saves at big times. You do not want to go into the dressing room on a downer. And this sure would have been. They would have been down by two, and the second period is nearly over. When you're talking about Matt Sundin, you're talking about a short list of talented players in this league. He has it all. Size, skill, scoring touch, playmaking ability. He's one of the top centers in the game. I thought that was going to be a sure goal, Bob, but he proved me wrong. Take a look at it. That's a great example of solid positioning. He anticipated that shot all along and was ready for it before it even left the stick. A nice piece of goaltending work out there. Thumbs up from me. Neuendijk getting hooked a little bit here, and the refs are watching. Roenick doesn't get his shot on goal. One thing I like about Roenick is the fact that he wants that puck out there every shift. He's a clutch player, and he always is on the ice in big-time situations for his team. And now we're going to have a face-off to the left side of the net. And the Flyers get it. Belfour saves it. His team's got a one-goal advantage right now. He brings the puck up. Here come the Maple Leafs for the chance. A minute 56 remaining. Roberts holds the puck in the corner. And Toronto regains the puck on the offensive. Ronick has it at center ice. Gagne checked in front of the bench. It goes over to the right wing. Domi skates across the blue line with less than one minute left in the period. Pitkinen plays it up to the center. Ronick brings the puck up. Puck back to the point. Chalk this one up as a big save. Sometimes it's difficult to play with a one-goal lead when you're only in the second period. That stop keeps it that way. We've reached the end of the second period, and the score, one to nothing. And we've got a moment to play some highlights for you. These highlights are from our second period in tonight's game. The Maple Leafs are ahead one goal as we come out of the second period. They had the lead the last period, and I know they want to expand on that lead now. You can't be idle right now because anything can happen. We all know that. How's the picture unfolding tonight for them? The lead for them is one, but if they don't tighten up their play on defense, it's not going to last. I'm seeing some openings out there that could easily be taken advantage of if they aren't careful. The Flyers have to play now with that inspiration to win. Getting ready now, this team has to start strong in this third period to bring this game back even, Steven. And we're just about ready to start the third period of play here tonight. And the faceoff is won by Toronto. Roberts from McCabe. Oh, and a chance for Toronto now. The puck is hit up the left side. Ronick now controlling the puck. It's led back to the point. Ronick got grazed a bit. He covers the puck and will have a faceoff. Ronick is narrowing in on a new career milestone for assists. Just one more for him and he's there, Bob. He sure knows how to get the puck tape to tape. Sandin passes back to the defenseman. Philadelphia grabs it to the middle. Desjardins dropping it up at center ice. Janssen breaks it up with the poke check. Past the blue line. Number seven, number 23, his shot missing the goal. McGillney hits the puck up to center. Toronto trying to get set up once more. He passes it up that right side. Taken into the zone by Philadelphia. Here come the Flyers with a chance. And at center, to Nolan. Oh, and here come the Maple Leafs. He feeds it up the left side. And they're attacking, looking for a chance. Gets it over to the left wing. Bob, I don't know about you, but I think I felt this hit up here. Check your headset. Puck over to the right wing. He's got it in the neutral zone. From McGilney over to Nolan. 
He brings the puck through the zone. Fired. Number one makes the save. His team down a goal right now. They can't give up another one. It sent back to the point. Shooting. That shot was stopped by the pad. Down low. He passes to the defenseman. Oh, and here they come. It's a three on two. Nolan plays it up to the center. He shoots. Number one with the paddle down low on this one. He had no choice but to get it with his glove. And he made a quick move to do it. Oh, and there they go, the player. And here, a shot of the owners, hoping to make the playoffs again this season. Remember, that is where the bread and butter comes in for the owners. And if you can get into the playoffs, it can really help your team financially because the players are not getting paid anymore. They just get a small split. The puck gets airborne and splinters the pane of glass above the boards. You don't realize how much force the puck can have till you see something like this. If the puck was a car on a highway, it would be picked up for speeding. Gagne along the boards. Roberts with it, and here's a two-on-two -two opportunity. Passion written all over this hit. Did he ever nail him with that shoulder? Well, gosh, who the heck is that? It's me. Harry, I think the fans here are having one heck of a night. Here we go. The face-off to the right of the goalkeeper. And Toronto wins the draw in their own zone. Domi has it at center ice. Ronick gets pinned against the boards. He passes it to the right wing. Ronick playing physical at center ice. And the Flyers pick it up. And here come the Flyers. The Leafs are ahead at the end of the first period and have seemed to be ahead all night long. Harry, what's keeping this team going so strong tonight? The lead for them is one, but if they don't tighten up their play on defense, it's not going to last. I'm seeing some openings out there that could easily be taken advantage of if they aren't careful. Oh, baby, the Flyers with a breakaway. The puck is centered. First call using the stick too much. Bob, you have to like this play. Once you commit on open ice, you have to finish your opponent off. And he did just that. And he takes it through his own, passes it to the right wing. Over in the corner. That's a goal, and they are now off two here in period number three. Terrific goal here, Bob. The goalie tried to save it with his skate, but it bounced off his blade into the net. Taking a closer look at this, the goalie's skates were just at the wrong angle. And as a goalie, you have to be aware of all parts of your body and pads, because a bad angle of any part of you can result in something bad, like a rebound, or even worse, a goal. And sometimes you just don't have time to adjust. Tough goal to get up there. The Maple Leafs with two goals tonight, and just take a look at the traffic, and you can see where they're coming from. These guys have done a great job out there at the right defenseman spot. The goalie's watching anybody getting set up at that point. Number one will brace himself for the puck drop, which is to his right side. And it's deflected off the right pad. Radovojevic passes it up the center. He's got it along the boards. Number one with a pad save. And now Philadelphia with it across the blue line. Here's the odd man, three on two. Over to Tucker. Markov at center. From Markov to Kapanen. To the point. Markov can't get the shot on goal. He passes to the right side. Any more stick there, and he's likely going to be called for hooking. And here's a great chance. Number one positions himself on the left side of the net, waiting for the faceoff. Here's Toronto with it. The puck is centered. And now Philadelphia in their own zone. Staying alive. That's what he's trying to do for it. He scores! And they have now brought their team to within one goal of tying it. Time running out, though, here in the third period. Not much left. They might be pulling the goalie soon. Talk about some boomerang action here, Bob. The last goal was a one-timer that went off the left post. The goalie had no hope. Belfour. He really nailed that one-timer, Harry. The goalie, whatever chance he did have of stopping that one, 
ended as soon as the shot hit the iron. Yep, just hit the pipe right to get it to ricochet in. That was a great shot. And don't forget the setup, man, Harry. And we're ready for the faceoff. The Flyers have been able to shrink that two-goal deficit. What a time to do it, too, here in the third period. Still enough time, though. Now we're going to see whether or not the momentum flows with them. The Flyers shot location graphic up on the screen, and it has not been a big night for production for this club, that's for sure. It's games like this that could really pull a team together. If you manage to come back trailing late in the third, you'll have the confidence for the future that you can get it done. And the Maple Leafs win it. Now Philadelphia's got it. The puck to the left wing. The one-timer hits the defender. Janssen from number one. Two minutes left in the period. 23 brings it over the blue line with just, it's a goal. It looks like we will be heading to overtime with that one. It couldn't have come too soon either. These guys have been searching for a way to tie it and they got an answer. Wow. Check out this replay, folks. You do not have to have a great wrist shot when you're this close because it's not about how hard it is, it's where it is. We talk about finding time and space on the ice, Harry. Well, right there, there was just enough time, and unfortunately, from a defensive point of view, there was plenty of space. Only a minute 25 on the game clock. Of the season, assisted by number 98 and number 23. The Flyers will get the icing call. How proud do you think this man is just showing off the logo? Gotta love that. So does the team. The defender blocks it. Back to the point. And Philadelphia has the puck. Defensive zone. The puck now to the right wing. 98 carries the puck along the boards. The Flyers with that last tying goal force the overtime here tonight. That was a huge goal. And they're going to get a chance in overtime to win it. The players at center ice ready for the faceoff to kick off this overtime period. The Leafs win a key faceoff with the game tied here on home ice. Over the blue line. Oh, and a chance for Toronto now. He shoots. Saves it with a stick. It goes to the point. He feeds it out. The right wing boards. Number one with a pad save. Stops that one-timer. McGillney looks like he'd be getting the penalty. He feeds the puck to the left side. McGillney has no problem getting the officials to call the cross-checking penalty. I don't like to see those either. If you're just tuning in to check out the scores, don't worry. We'll be bringing you all the regular programming after the overtime is finished. And the Leafs get it out of their zone on the PK. And now the Flyers with it in their own zone. Capital has the puck in the neutral zone. It goes to the point. 98 with the puck to the right wing. Two minutes left in the period. Along the boards with the puck. Belfour makes the save. They're still shorthanded. Now Philadelphia's got it. Over to 98 from Kapanen. 98 brings it over the blue line. Less than a minute to go in the period. From Ronick. Belfour with that beautiful save. Keeping the game tied. Number 98 has got the puck. He feeds it up the right side. It's shootout time. It's going to be a match between shooter and goalie here tonight to decide who wins. Gagne up first in the shootout. Here it is. Thank you for your cooperation. It's shot. And it's a 0-0 shootout so far. McGillney up first in the shootout for his team. And here he comes. And he stops that attempt. Kapanen up second now. Here he comes. It's a goal. It is in the net. Off the right pad. He just couldn't get enough of it. Okay, now he's skating in. He makes the stop. No luck there. Ronick up to shoot third. Oh, and he's got to stop this, folks. It's shot. He stops that one. Leach is up third for his club. This is it, folks. He's got to get a goal. Fired. Shut down on the shootout. 
The Flyers take the win here tonight as this battle ends in a shootout. Wow, what a way to win the game. The third star of the game, number 25, Joe Newendot. The second star of the game, number seven, Number 23, 